Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple sink using BricsCAD. I've already drawn out all my polylines, so we're going to begin by revolving the base. Then, using the solid edit, body and shell command, I'm going to remove the top and bottom surfaces to hollow out the base. Using the loft command, I'm going to select each of the ellipses in order to create the bowl shape. I'm going to use the shell command again to remove the top face. To complete the main sink, I'm going to add a drainage hole and a hole to put the tap in. To do this, I'm using the extrude, subtract mode, and in this instance, I'm using both sides. The next step is to create the tap. Again, I've already drawn out all the polylines that I need. I'm going to extrude the circles, but you could also use the cylinder command. I'm going to repeat this to create the handle and the spout. To apply a small angle to the end, I'm going to extrude both sides, again using the subtract option. Because I have dynamic user coordinate systems turned on, I can draw directly onto the face. Extrude the object down, offset, and extrude back in. If you want to, you can apply a shell to hollow out the whole tap. However, I don't need it for the purposes of this model. Now, all I need to do is move the tap into position. Notice that the tap and the sink are a different colour. That's because they were created on different layers. As a final touch, I'm going to add some piping. To do this, I'm going to draw a rectangle. And then apply a trim. And apply a fillet. All I have to do is move the line into position. and sweep the profile along the newly created curve. I'm going to repeat the same technique to create the drainage hole. This time, using the subtract command to remove the excess material from the base. As a final touch, I'm going to shell out the piping. And there you have it. A simplified sink representation. Thanks for watching.